rockin' with that chest, not Jeffers TV, cake ass. Now, Rich. Little Bill, showin' twins on Pirelli skills. Got your muscles dilated like the mixed fields. No time to stop, focus only on the meal. So, Mr. Idiot Man, Keefy D, self snitching at his finest, man. Uh, for y'all that don't know, they just made a wrist in the uh, murder of Tupac. And it's this dude, Keefy D. Now, Keefy D supposed to have been in the car with the dudes that shot up Tupac or whatever. I don't know if he actually did the shooting or he was just in the car. But they was blaming it on his nephew, Orlando Anderson, for years. You know, Orlando Anderson dead. And I think the other dude, was supposed to be three dudes in the car. I think both of them dudes dead. So Keefy D the only one alive. So he decided, they had gave him immunity, I think in LA. But Las Vegas is in Nevada. You know what I'm saying? Where the murder actually happened. So they picked it up. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got immunity in LA, don't mean you're going to, just because you got immunity in one place, don't mean you got immunity everywhere. So, they picked it up. Now they said that they, 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 you know, they got all the information for their case, which lead, you know, what led them to indict him was the, all the interviews and shit that he was doing. So he was on Vlad TV, talking all kind of shit, talking about exactly what happened that night and who did what and where he was sitting at and he all this here, like he detailed the whole whole murder. Then the dude actually wrote a book about it. You know what I'm saying? He wrote a book about it, talking about it. So, bro, what made him think that... See, it ain't no ain't no statute of limitation on murder, man. So you can't be talking about it no more. I don't give a damn if you did a murder 50 years ago. I don't give a damn if you was involved in a murder. You know anything about any kind of murders. You do not go on tape talking about this stuff. Or you do not put this information out there. Because all the murder investigations are, are never closed. You know what I'm saying? So it's still open. So, you know what I'm saying? If they get new details and new information, they can go back and, you know what I'm saying, apply that to the damn case that's still open. You know what I'm saying? So this dumb idiot, he's sitting up there with all them interviews. I guess he was trying to get famous. Or I don't know what he's trying to do. Get famous, get some money, or what? But... Ain't none of that shit happen for him like that. What he got is his damn self locked up. Fucking idiot. But see, he must don't know. I don't know, man. The dude too old. Not, I, I can't say that he must don't know because he too old not to know. The man's 60 years old. Why is you on... Uh, uh, and then you sitting up here doing an interview with Vlad. Vlad asked questions just like how the police ask questions. I ain't gonna say he working with the police because I don't know. But... The line of questioning that he give is similar along the lines of an interrogation. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll ask you details. He'll ask you about some. He'll ask you why, or well, why did you do it, or what was the situation that led up to that, or you know what I'm saying? Like he want to know every damn detail of the shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, even, I don't even know why he, why people would answer them type of questions, bro. You thinking um? But see, niggas be wanting that clout, man. They be thinking, you know, Vlad, he got a big following. A lot of people gonna see this, man, and I'm gonna get some money. Nigga, you going to jail fucking with Vlad, man. Y'all ain't know that by now. Vlad is a, a master interrogator. He ain't no interviewer. Shit. But anyway, man, y'all like the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Share the video, man. So we got we got another self, uh, Vlad self-snitching victim. OGBC, man. Chestnut checkers. Move slow. Think fast.